Welcome back to Traveloka Travel Guide. Previously, we explored the top things to do in Langkawi. This episode, we'll be checking out the amazing eat trees on the island. This is best food in Langkawi. Nasi Dagang is a small restaurant on Jalan Makam Masuli, overlooking a nice paddy field next to Gunung Raya, the tallest mountain in Langkawi. You can eat in this cute little hut facing the open paddy field. Pak Malau Nasi Dagang is known for its famous fish curry, but you can also enjoy chicken curry, beef rendang or mutton kurma. Acha, kalau kata macam ni acha, acha ni dia campuran uh, sayur lah, ada timun, ada keret, ada bawang. Nama sangat, masih dia dia masak lama. Uh -huh. Jadi dia punya tekstur, memang lembut lah. Okay, nasi pas, bawang orang lantai, orang orang isku, orang orang timun masak kan? Okay? Ah itulah test. Hmm. Kalau dia cakap sedap, jadi so orang pantai timur uh -huh. confirm sedap lah. Yeah. Kalau saya cakap sedap, saya masali je. Apa masali tahu lah. <laughs> kan? Yellow Cafe is a vibrant beachfront cafe on Jalan Pantai Tengah. Open from 2 p.m. to 1 a.m., Yellow Cafe transforms into a cozy hangout joint with good music at night. Here, you will find some good local and western food and a nice relaxing atmosphere with hammocks, day beds, and even a jacuzzi. It's a great place to unwind and enjoy the sunset. Okay, so right here with us, we have the owner of the Yellow Cafe at Langkawi ah. Beach, ah, Mr. Thierry. Thierry, Thierry. Yeah. What's special about the, the sauce or something, this one? Yeah, well, it's a fresh flour grilled mm -hmm. with the lime sauce, boiled veggies and uh, some fried rice. Fried rice. Okay. And uh, all very fresh. But you know, you really taste with the prawns, like the, the grilled taste, right? Yeah. How many stars? Berapa bintang? 4.5. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'm going to say 5. 5. Can't okay. stop. Wow, dessert time! Thank you. Oh, okay, thank you. Let's try the fresh banana made it together with chocolate. It's a nice combination, kan? And then, dia punya crunchy um, grill almond, though. Uh -huh. They bagi the texture. It's about yeah. texture prep. It's quite soft and chewy. So, dia punya almond bagi the crunch, kan? Roti Chanai is a signature dish loved by Malaysians. But here at Restaurant Chena, it's served with a unique twist. Roti Chanai black pepper is a combination of roti chanai, fried egg, salad and beef or chicken with black pepper sauce. This place is located on Jalan Kedawang and is open daily from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Oh, I punya roti chanai oh. black pepper cheese, okay? I think what you need Kambing, ada salad oh. Oh. Oh, Kambing kicau lah Dia macam telur bungkus kan? Eh? Tapi yang ini roti canai ah. Ah, Dia macam telur bungkus lah But this one is roti canai Okay, okay ambil black pepper sauce cake Cheese and sauce Wow Wow After eating, Riz wanted to learn how to make roti canai Unfortunately it didn't turn out so well. At Tanjong Tirai View Cafe, you will find delicious Malay and Thai seafood by the sea. They serve special family recipe dishes and are most famous for their ikan masak asam jawa and delicious deep-fried calamari. 
Ikan masak sang jawa ni sebenarnya dia sama juga macam tiga rasa But we use, kita gunakan sos yang berlainan Kita okay. gunakan biasa sang jawa, kita masak sehari sebelum Okey, lepas tu masak dengan cili padi Bawang putih serta bahan rasa oh. Salah satu lagi famous kita kat sini adalah kami punya sotong goreng topong Nampak sotong. biasa hmm. ha? Nampak biasa sotong goreng topong tapi dia more crispy Dia ada hmm. rasa yang sangat misteri hmm. Sos tu kita buat sendiri So, uh, dia ada kelainan hmm. rasa dia Okey, next okay, we have Kita um... punya curry powder crabs Okey, hmm. curry powder crabs ni Ada Indian ada element ada. Indian dan uh, Malaysian style Okey Sebab dia more too creamy dia punya apa ketang powder Ketang powder Okey, so kita nak try lah semua lauk-lauk pauk yang ada kat depan kita ni Okay, so you guys, if you guys datang ke Langkawi, you have to eat semas, okay? Singgah yes. kat sini, sebab dia ada three special dishes yang memang tak akan dapat kat mana-mana. Betul. Sotong culut tepung, hmm. ketam curry powder, kita ada ikan asam jawa. Itulah, tapi bukan makanan sahaja base kat sini. Hmm. Kan, dia punya atmosphere, view, tepi laut, exactly. ada angin, dia memang yeah. chill. Betul hmm. kan? Betul. Right sini okay. kalau datang Langkawi, kenalah sehingga makan sini. Yes, Betul highly lah. recommended. Okay? Highly recommended. Okay. Food and view. Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. Right outside the airport on Jalan Kuala Muda is Laksa Ikan Sekok. A food truck by the beach that sells laksa, rojak pasembo, rojak buah, mihun sup utara and ice cold chendol. It's a very relaxing place where you can enjoy your lunch under the trees. The food here is authentic and freshly prepared. It was yummy and affordable. Ah, dan sebenarnya tahu tak? Yep. Sebelum Rista datang Langkawi, Rista ni kawan-kawan hmm. atau makanan kena makan dekat Langkawi. Dia yes. cakap laksa ikan sekok. Ah, laksa ikan sekok. Masa ah. dalam laksa dia tak ada ikan sekok. So, kita berhenti kat tepi jalan ni. Uh, dia sebenarnya sebelah dengan airport juga sebenarnya. So, sambil enjoy the view cantik. Ni yang laksa makan apa? Tu. Laksa tu. Hmm. Ni ada dipanggil apa? Pesembok. Pesembok. Ah, dekat KL orang panggil Roja. Ah, Roja. Tapi kita utara, kita panggil dia Pak Tembok. Okay, and I'm having uh, bihun sup, uh, bihun sup uh, utara. Ada daging sikit. Lepas tu, this is one of my favourite food lah. Tak kisah lah, ada kat mana-mana. Tapi kat sini, dia punya lain lah. Dia punya roja dia tu, roja utara lah. Okay. Uh, ni roja buah. And then yang ni, sambal lah. Sambal untuk I punya ni. You want this one? Layan. Layan. Okay, so kita makan dulu. Sambil okay. tengok jet ski lalu depan mata. Ada ada kapal layak apa semua. Ui. Sempoi, sempoi. Sempoi. Makan lah. Boleh. Along the busy street of Pantai Chunang is a small gelato shop called Gelato Cabana. They offer fresh homemade gelato in a variety of different flavours that's perfect on a hot and sunny day. Gelato Cabana, yo, homemade ice cream. Mine is mango flavor. Ah, this this one is durian. Ah, tahu tak semua gelato sini homemade di Langkawi. Dah empat tahun dia dah buka dah. Dia ambil macam contoh yang mango, tujuh puluh kg mango. Pasu dia proses semua tinggal dia punya isi lah, dia punya mango flesh. Lepas tu dia freeze, jadi gelato lah. Ni saya tak rasa macam makan aiskrim lah. Saya rasa macam pernah makan fresh mango. Ah. Yang durian ni, dia durian rojak tau. Dia tak ada satu durian je macam Musang King D24. Dia just rojak semua. It's yeah. really the durian taste. If you wish to experience a modern, artistic side of Langkawi, head over to Arts Cafe on Jalan Pandak Maya. They are open daily from 9am to 10pm. The restaurant is decorated with unique art pieces made by local artists. There's a mix of local and western food, all home cooked with love. What's really interesting about Arts Cafe is it didn't actually start as a cafe, it was actually a gallery. And one day the owner was making some coffee on a coffee machine and people could start to smell it. And people started saying, can I try the coffee, can I order it? And then basically they started to sell the coffee. Then it wasn't long before it was sandwiches and food, that sort of thing. So it actually went from being a gallery into a gallery cafe. And 13 years later, there's a lot of food, 
coffee is still on the menu and all the food is home cooked style. Ah, right, let's try this coffee. That's a wrap for our Traveloka Travel Guide series for now. Hope you had a blast watching our videos. And as usual, if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the like and subscribe button. And also feel free to suggest new destinations for us to cover in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching guys. Thanks to Traveloka. Bye!